Bill Ackman, Dan Loeb, Eddie Lampert, David Einhorn, even if you don't know their names, chances are you're familiar with their work. Have you been to a Sears lately? Thought it looked a little run down. You can blame or thank this guy for that, Eddie Lampert. He's the hedge fund manager who took over Sears in 2005. He has since closed more than 100 stores. Okay, what about JCPenney? Remember when the store got rid of discounts? You can thank this guy, Bill Ackman, for that. He's the hedge fund manager who backed now departed CEO Ron Johnson and his attempt to give the store a makeover. If you notice the store brought back sales and coupons, it's because Johnson is out and Ackman took a $700 million loss on his investment. Then there's Apple. If you have Apple shares in your 401k, you might want to write a thank you letter to this guy, David Einhorn. He led a public campaign, including TV appearances, open letters, even a lawsuit to pressure Apple into using some of its more than $100 billion in cash to pay shareholder dividends. Now the move worked. Just last week, Apple boosted its dividend another 8%. So who are these guys and why do they have so much power? They're activist investors, activist billionaires, the catchphrase for rich hedge fund managers who don't just invest in a company, they try to influence its business. Sometimes it works well, sometimes not, but it almost always ruffles feathers. When investor Dan Loeb tried to get Sony to change its business model, George Clooney called him a carpetbagger trying to spread a climate of fear. So when will it end? Likely no time soon. Reports say Bill Ackman has made up with Carl Icahn and Dan Loeb. The group had been locked in a vicious battle over the fate of a little known stock called Herbalife. If the hatchet really is buried, there's no telling what could happen if these billionaires join forces.